It's an interesting looking thing. What is it? It's a warp! And now I'm a bunny! I can't do anything as a bunny. Nothing, nothing happens when I'm a bunny. I can't attack, I can't lift things, I can't use my boomerang. Are you just like kicking that thing? What did this thing ever do to you? Can I talk to this thing? Oh, who are you, Mr. Bunny? This world is like the real world, but evil has twisted it. The golden power is what changed your shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. I'm always changing my mind, so I turned into a ball. But if you have a ball called the Moon Pearl, you can keep your original shape here. Yeah, I don't have the Moon Pearl. All right, let's talk to you. What do you want? Do you have something to say to me, silly rabbit? I came here to get the power of gold, but now I'm a freak and I can't go back to the real world. If I only had the Moon Pearl from the Tower of Hera, I could go back to my original shape. Got good reason to be stressed out, so back off! Shoo, shoo! He kicks the ball some more. So, remember we got told that with the, uh, no, I don't want to talk to you again. Uh, with the magic mirror, we could go back. We just had to look in the magic mirror. Hey! He kicked him into me to talk to me! I just wanted to explore a bit. Is that asking too much? Uh, there is a ladder here. I can climb it? I sure can. It looks a little bit more like a bridge, but I'm pretty sure it's a ladder. Either way, what we want to do is stand on uh, this light spot right here. Any of it will do. I'll stand here. Why not? Why not? It doesn't really matter where. And I want to use the magic mirror. Hey, look, I found a piece of heart. How did I know? Yeah, those are lined up perfectly, so you, you kind of want to stand there. All right, so these guys, you can only kill with the uh, with the magic powder after they've transformed. But you can hop down here. We have a little bit of uh, area. You might as well uh, hit him at least once so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Yeah, he just turns into a rock, and then you can't hit him anymore. But our goal is inside here. We've made it to... The Tower of Hera. Well, things aren't going to a great start here. I seem to be locked in with this shiny red orb. Must hit it! Hey, that seems to have solved the problem. Uh, now there are kind of two ways to deal with it at this point. You can either hit it with your sword or... Wait, no, stop it. You can do my favorite thing, which is hit it with the boomerang. Uh, you can obviously hit this one. And if you want to move forward, which is what we want to do. Sahasrala, any tips? Link in his eye, Sahasrala, the elder. You don't have to say it every time, man. I have some advice. In the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror to return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. I'll try. It's going to be difficult, though. All right, seriously. Like right off the bat, that's not working out for me. All right, these guys like to launch uh, fireballs at you. You can block them with the red shield, or you can just take them out like that. Get that back. And there's a treasure chest already with the map. Hooray. Let's take a look at the map. As you can see, uh, we have a, a tower. So there's six floors, but that pretty much just means like more or less six rooms. So hooray, we have our map. But it, it's, it's not nearly as big of a deal as it might sound like. So let's hit this one and head down here. The top left is a locked door. Can't do anything with that. Not until I get a key. Hey, look, there's a key. Yeah, you guys could just go ahead and die. That'd be great. All right, then we will hit that. I'll mm, try to hit you. You guys have been giving me a little bit of problems. But we can get ourselves the key. We will need that. Oh, no, whatever shall I do? Boomerang. So good. So good. We can hit it again. And we can head up to this locked door here. And we will head back down. And, well, this is a monster room. That is what we need to do is survive. I like uh, lowering that so I can kind of just hang out here and go back and forth. That way I don't get hit by the tiles, which is always nice. You give me a lot of room on this side. All right, figure eight done. And then that, those sides done. 
Oh, that one was too close. No! Got hit twice. This is not working out well. But there we go. Once you survive through all of the tiles, the door does open up. Anything here? No. It takes too long to get through this so I can start hanging out down here. So I like this side, even though it didn't work out for the best. All right, let's uh, go through these guys carefully. Yeah, rupees, that's what I need. All right, you can hit them from here. It's a lot easier than uh, than lower lowering these and taking it out naturally. Come on. <laughs> Stop it. I know I can hit you from here. I hit the other guy. Oh, no, it doesn't have to be sideways. Yeah, it has to be sideways, apparently. Or at, like, the very center of my swing. All right, down you go. Just rupees for my trouble, but we can hit that. Head through here. Just carefully take out the Stolfos. Don't want to get ganged up on him. Hey, one of those hearts back. It's always nice. It's one of the problems with attacking with the boomerang. If you miss, you're left defenseless for a little bit. I could swing and, and make him jump off. Really? I'm trying to keep my distance, and you're pulling this kind of shit on me. All right, well, I'll, I'll deal with that. There we go. Oh, no, there's nothing that we can do. Well, what we can do is light these things up. And we get a treasure chest with the big key inside. Very nice. Now we can uh, lift these up and get my magic back. A ton of magic back. Way more than I would have normally used. Back on the boomerang. We will need to hit this one again. That way we can head this way. Otherwise, you can't because your way will be blocked. Back up here. Nothing going on, but... Uh, really? Do I have to warp back? Shouldn't have to. Fine. We'll head back down. We'll do it this way. We could use the magic mirror. That's what most people kind of recommend. But, uh... We just need to raise that up. I don't, I don't need to go through the monster room again. We're fine. Alright. Now we're in a good spot. I don't like using the magic mirror. What am I doing? The way is already open for me. Let's head down here to floor number three. Notice how much a, a knockback these guys have. So position yourself well. You can hit them with the, uh, the arrows. That's why they drop arrows, but you can also just uh, position properly. You know? Well, this seems to be here. I'm going to hit it. We'll turn it blue. All right, position. That way I don't fall down anywhere. Or I can knock them down. That also works. Those guys are mean. But we seem to have made it. Right. So that's what that does. We're, we're ready to head up. That was, it, it changes things around. All right, where is this? All right, well, we're, we're fine as is. Okay, and we'll head down here. Carefully, carefully. All right, so we need that to move. Now we have access down here. We can take you guys out. Of course, we will, we will check everything. It doesn't seem to do much, does it? I'm still gonna hit it though, because I have the assumption that it will be uh, useful as we climb further and further up. We're up to floor number four. We have explored quite a bit, right? We got a lot of stuff done. As you can see, there's, uh, there's technically two sets of rooms on the first floor, but the rest of them, more or less one floor. One room per floor. Hey, that worked out pretty nicely for me. 
kitten range. Over here. Oh, that was close. No, oh, shit. I was trying to get fancy and it screwed up on me. Fine, we'll go the way that we're supposed to go. Hey look, a treasure chest. And a heart. And we found ourselves the compass. Very nice. Now where is evil? Link in his eyes, Ahasuela, the elder. Once again, you don't need to say this every time. An orb known as the Moon Pearl is in this tower. Whoever holds the Moon Pearl is protected so that his form will not change in the dark world. You must find it and escape from the tower. Don't forget the Moon Pearl. Yeah, that's kind of a big part of being here. Damn it. Like, you got me right off swing there. There we go. Heart. I'll take rupees. Gonna need a lot of them in order to get everything that I want. I'll take that. Bomb is nice, not necessary, but I'll take it. There we go. Ooh, big treasure chest. Seems we have ourselves a little bit of a pickle. Hold on. We can't actually get to that just yet, but I do want to push this one so that there's just a, a gaping hole all around that big treasure chest. And then I can move forward and we will head up these stairs here. To the fifth floor. In here, I'm gonna want to hit this one there. There we go. Now these hard hat beetles like to throw you down the floor. I'd recommend that you don't let them do that. All right, let's let's let them chase me a bit. There we go. Wide open area, nowhere for me to go down. What is it? Six? How many hits does it take? I can kill these guys, right? Just takes a while? You know what? No! Oh, okay, he eventually went down. Jeez. Hey, there's a heart back. I'll take it. Uh, don't, don't hit the bumper. <laughs> it, it will knock you back quite a ways. A lot longer than the, uh, the beetles knock you back for, so I would recommend avoiding it. Five arrows, sure. Uh, by raising the, uh... Oh, by the way, you, you can't bomb those. Don't bother. Uh, by setting it the way that we did, where the orange ones are down, or brown ones are down, and the blue ones are up, uh, we have access to all these hearts here. I'm probably going to need them. But before we head forward, let's drop down this right here. The one in the center towards the top. Right. That didn't work out as well as I had hoped. Uh, not well enough as is. I had right on the thing. I need to do it from the top. Can't do it from the bottom. All right, so we need to hit uh, this one here. This time we'll drop down from the top. I thought I'd be safe on, on the bottom, but I was wrong. All right, there we go. No problem there. And we got ourselves the Moon Pearl. This protects the hero from the changing effects of the golden power. And we can head back the way that we came. Now that we have the Moon Pearl, there's nothing left but the boss fight. That is very nearby here. Don't need to mess with that anymore. Let's not dash because there's holes in the ground. Yeah, here's the boss symbol. Let's head up. I don't, I don't like this fight. But it's boss time. We're up against this guy. This guy sucks. This is Moldorm. Those are the mini mold orbs we've been taking on. Uh, instead of hitting him in the face, you gotta hit him in the tail. You have to do it many, many times. Uh, the problem is that he knocks you back a long, long way. And when he does, he can knock you off. And when you, he knocks you off, you have to start over again. So I'm trying to keep my distance because he's on, like, the weird path. Ah. All right, got one. Two. Mm -hmm. That was close. Come on. No, I'm not. I'm not chasing you over there on the skinny path. That's not. That's not good news for me. 
three. Four. Uh, I should I should have gone for it there. Yeah, I'm, I don't go over on that side. The small path and oh, super. Damn it. No. Was that five? He's so fast, but there's number six. I made that look way easier than it normally is. Now, if he knocks you off, you you have to start from six again. But he gave me the heart container I so desired. And I got myself the Pendant of Wisdom. With this, you have collected all three pendants. Go now to the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. We've done it. We're getting ourselves so powerful. I already have access to the Master Sword, which we will try to get next time. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by my suddenly wise adventurer, Link. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.